What is up everybody? My name is AJ Sharma and welcome back to another DaVinci Resolve tutorial. In this video, we're going to be covering frame rates. Specifically, how to adjust the frame rate of a clip so it plays back super smooth. Let's jump in. Okay, so we're in DaVinci Resolve 17 and here is the dashboard under the cut mode. Now I've already added my clip to the media pool and also dragged my clip into the timeline. So we have the full clip in the timeline. Now I have my timeline set to 25 frames per second, but I'd like to change that. Uh, since my video clip here is actually a 30 frames per second clip. So let's go ahead and fix this. Uh, first, you'll need to go up to file up here, click on it and then select new timeline. Okay. And then you can change this timeline uh, name, but we're going to keep it as timeline two. So we're going to have timeline one and then timeline two. So now what we want to do is click on this use project settings and it will click off. And then what you want to do is go to format and then under timeline frame rate, you want to click on this and then you want to adjust to 30 frame per, well, whichever one you want, but mine's 30. So I'm going to click on this for 30 frames per second, and then I'm going to click create. Okay. So now we have two timelines, one with 25 uh, frame rates per second. And then the next one is 30 frame rates per second. And we can see this by clicking on the top here and there's timeline one, timeline two. Now we have this, but we are having a problem. There is no footage in our second timeline. If you're liking this video so far, why not hit that subscribe button below? So how are we going to add our original clip into the second timeline? To do this, just simply click on timeline one. And then what you can do here is drag to select all the footage that you want to move to your new timeline and copy it. So once it's highlighted, you can either right click on the clip and then click copy, or you can do a control and C on your keyboard uh, for the shortcut. From there, we'll switch back up to the timeline two, and then we just simply right click and then uh, click paste. And there we have it. So we have our clip in the second timeline now, and this will play back much smoother And there you have it, 30 frame rates per second, which it was designed for. Now, if you want to confirm that your frame rates actually been changed, just go ahead over to the deliver tab. Okay. So right now we're in the cut tab, go to deliver tab and then over into the section, the render settings, you just scroll down and it will say frame rate. And then it's selected to 30 per second. And this is the, the footage that will be exported at your new frame rate. However, if you want to check the settings better, it might look like the frame rate wasn't changed, but don't worry. If you check the settings button over here on the bottom right corner, uh, it would say playback frame rate 24 uh, frames per second. Do not worry. This is just like a project settings. And the main thing is that the rendering export settings is set set to 30 frame rates. So just, just focus on this uh, render setting rather than the actual overall project setting. And there you have it guys. That's how you adjust the frame rate of a clip. So it plays back super smooth. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I did. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below and then Hit a thumbs up button while you're at it. If you're new to DaVinci Resolve, make sure you check out my other videos. There's such an amount of videos, tutorials, and training for you to help you become a better, better editor. Until next time, guys, peace.